Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares. Welcome back to another episode of Multipack Mania. This week, our theme is evens. So I picked this double feature that has the evil and twice dead. I'm going to take this dime and I'm going to flip it. Heads is going to be the evil. Tails is going to be twice dead. We have Tails. So, I'm going to go watch Twice Dead for multi pack Mania and come back with a review soon. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, as dreadful as last week's movies, movie was, Deadly Embrace was a complete turd. Um, Twice Dead was awesome. Uh, Twice Dead is a 1988 film, which runs approximately 87 minutes, and is written and directed by Burt L. Dragon. And that's D-R-A-G-I-N. <laughs> thought that was pretty cool. Alright, the only thing he was responsible for was actually a movie that I also liked, besides this one, is called Summer Camp Massacre. Um, this stars Tom Resnananan as Scott Cates. Resnananan. Nan Han. Bresnanhan. <laughs> All right. He was in The Kingdom, Absolute Force, and Total Force. It's a lot of force there. This also stars Jill Whitlow as Robin Cates. She was in Weird Science, Mask, and Porkies. And Jonathan Chaplin as Crip. He was in Halloween 5, 16 Candles, and Say Anything. Now, Jonathan Chaplin, of course, played Mikey in Halloween 5. He played, uh, let's see, in 16 Candles, where Anthony Michael Hall, they're sitting on the bleachers. He was the guy that snapped and said, get lost, or whatever. Yeah. And I can't remember what he played in Say Anything, but I'm sure he was in it. Um, this film was shot in six weeks, and this also has Todd Bridges in it, which I was actually pleasantly surprised that Todd Bridges was in this film. Okay, this film is really cool. Um, I enjoyed this. It's not exactly what the cover portrays, but it's really cool. Um, I thought that this was going to be a zombie film. I was wrong. This is actually a supernatural slasher movie, and a damn good one at that. Okay, you have a famous actor. This is in the, I believe this is in the 40s. You have a famous actor who is in love with a woman, and she apparently left him, so he hung himself. He committed suicide. Fast forward years later, a family who is related to the woman that he loved inherits the house. And this house is a dump. It's a complete dump, but it's like a mansion in Hollywood. It's just in a really, really bad area. When they get to this house, there is a gang that is actually squatting there. So the father tells the gang to get lost, and they're not too happy. So they start terrorizing the family. The mother and father leave town for, I think it's like a week, because they had to go on trial in another in another state which left the older boy and the older girl there in order to kind of fend off this gang I don't want to say too much more um, I don't want to say too much more about the film I'm going to leave it there because there's a lot more to this film but this film is a ton of fun I had an absolute blast with this movie. The, the son, there's four people in the family, the mother, father, um, the son, and the daughter. The son is actually in college where he's, I guess he's doing like special effects in one of his acting classes. And they come into play in this film, and it's really, really cool. Um, I had a blast with this film. I cannot recommend this film highly enough. I don't know why, for some reason, I never watched this film uh, growing up. 
I don't even remember it being in the in the video rental store, which is a weird thing. Now, this, of course, is a Roger Corman classic. He would he produced this film. He didn't direct it. And uh, I'm actually looking forward to watching The Evil now. So I was thinking about leaving it until maybe pick a pick a flick week or something like that. I don't know if I can wait that long, though, because I really enjoy Twice Dead. Um, definitely check this one out. I had a blast with it. And next week is Wild Eye Week, guys. And that's going to be Pick a Pack. So if you're not participating in Wild Eye Week, you can still pick whatever pack you want and review something from it. Of course, using the computer-generated number thing or a different way. Or if you're participating in Wild Eye Week, you can pick a Wild Eye multi-pack and do it that way. So have fun, guys. And if you like what you see in here, hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, peace.